Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Armacrog. So this is the shortest area in the game. Bully! <laughs> there you go. Bully! <laughs> That's all he says. That is Te Teddy Roosevelt, I believe. All right. So, let's just click on this thing real quick. Push the blue button. All right. See, it like shoots an egg and it doesn't do anything. Also, there's this thing. So let's go check out this thing. There like a lever up here? There is! Neat. But we also want to go all the way through, because I'm sure there's going to be another video. Alright, now there we go. Another symbol above here. All right, we got another piece. And that was what we needed. Now! This puzzle is actually a little more simple than the others. And the reason is because the solution to this puzzle, like, if if we look... Oh, we've got to... I've got to get back down here and get rid of the things that I... Go up and come down. Come on. There you go. Just land. Now, if we look at this, this clearly will make, like, allows us to make kind of variations of the robots we see out here. And the deal with this is the track runs through all of them and kind of crosses them out or eliminates them, except this one. It goes, uh, like, through the pattern of this one without, without hurting it. So, that's actually the solution. So, that's the head we want. The middle's already fine. We need that claw. This should do it.
All right, good deal. Uh, Teddy Rose, Teddy Rose has nothing to do with anything in this game. He's just, he's just there for fun. All right, so this is our third puzzle. This is the last one. But you can see almost all of them fell. All right, and then it's All right, that should do it. Awesome. We get rid of this, then there's no more mobile mobile puzzles or mobile puzzles. Like, this is the kind of thing that would drive you absolutely nuts. Like, but again, once you've solved the first one, the sequence never changes. It's always the same. It's always going to be, you know, green octopus, red octopus, red four-eyed guy, and then, you know, like, whatever color that rat is, g greenish blue. Vognat took P. What are we gonna do now? We're going to get P back. Okay, we're gonna get P back. So yeah, this area wasn't very long at all. So this will get the power running. And then I think we just have to go uh, up. Or maybe it's... No, it's gotta be up. Can't be down. We're at the bottom already. All right, off we go. And no hot, no hot rod zip kicker this time, so. Oh, wow, yeah, we need, we need to make a note of these, this pattern right here. So you want to write this down. Now, here's the thing. This is another pattern that doesn't change from game to game. It's standard. So I actually already have it written down. All 
I have extensive notes of the three playthroughs I've done of this game. Now, this is actually the solution to the door puzzle here. And, uh, I, how you would ever know that or, like, be able to keep track of it is beyond me. And that's the problem with this next door puzzle. When you see it, you'll see how nuts it is. Notice the symbol and let's watch a video. <laughs> Vada do dot say rap all in this D and rap al al okay. Vag not rain it and love. S A D and rigor. New auto rock on rock ass and love radar. New odo tem they rave at summer revive. Romantic say say Almit had trapped at su rave at Rotterdam. Okay, so we got a piece of a thing. As always, this is the key to the door puzzle, and you need to know that. And then also. We can change this thing to that pattern that we saw outside, which is what we want to do. And, uh, I have to find... There it is. Good, good, good. Okay, that's the first one we need. That's the second one. There it is. It clicked us out because we did it right. And now, rather than try to do the door puzzle, we're going to get back in the zip kicker. And there we go. Alternate path. That's what we were going for. Okay. So this is this is the key to the most important or the the most complex puzzle in the game. This may actually be a missable trophy, by the way, as well. But we've just translated everything in the game. But one of the things it's doing is I pointed out those shapes above each Octavator. And it's telling you what the words you're looking for are. Servitude, family, hope, and honor. And now each Octavator, the one that corresponds to the symbol, um has a symbol in their video that corresponds to that word if you rewatch the videos. So, we're going to, like, we'll look at the... So if we look at this Octavator, we know that we're looking for the word honor. This one, hope. This one, servitude. This one, family. 
And they're identified by, this is their identifier above the activator. So, when we come back, the hardest puzzle in the game and the most complicated one later. Bye, everybody.